Good morning and welcome to our devotional time. In 1 Kings chapter 3, we run across the story, Whose Baby Is It Anyway? If you remember that story, it's the story of two women who bring a child to King Solomon, uh, David's King David's son, uh, who had become king after his death. And they were showing, uh, this passage was showing the wisdom that God had given Solomon in how to rule his kingdom. So the women come forward and say this, uh, both claiming uh, to be the mother of the baby, and, and one had uh, one mother's baby had died, and, and the other was telling the truth. And uh, so the story goes that Solomon called for a sword and said, I'll cut the baby in half, and you each can have a half. And then the real mother, who obviously wants the baby to live, is willing to give up her rights to the child and says, no, I want uh, the baby to be alive. And there Solomon, in his wisdom, discovers the true mom uh, because the other one said, yes, that's uh, good for me. Kill the baby then. And um, I don't think this is a story telling us that the sword is a, a lie detector. Uh, I think this story is really focusing on wisdom God gives us. And, uh, and as a Hebrew author said in Hebrews chapter 4, uh, verse 12, the, For the word of God is a living and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. And I think that's what the, the story is about in, in uh, uh, for Solomon and Kings. It's about how God's wisdom um, is, is the one that pushes us forward to seek out and discover the truth. And I imagine that's a lot of people are struggling with that now as we watch newscast about the things that are going on in our nation. Uh, we, it's hard sometimes to say, what is going on here? Why what is truth? Who do I believe and how do I respond? It's almost, uh, you know, as we listen to uh, different parties talk about the, the things that our nation is going in, uh, and you hear people say, take action on both sides of the argument. And you're like, well, what am I to do? Where am I to go? Here's where I would say, if you're struggling with that, how should I react? What should I do? How should I live my life in this moment? is uh, let me to encourage you to seek God's word and uh, to seek his wisdom. Let that be your prayer. God, uh, like Solomon, I need wisdom. I need to know how to respond in a righteous way to the events that are coming to bring healing to our nation. And I think there's there's a key for us to, to help. If, if we're just bringing up anger and bitterness and we're not confronting that, it's not to say that we can't get angry, but to... But if, if uh, the, the fruits of, of our actions just continue to bring anger and bitterness, um, that should give us a clue that uh, we're not going in the right direction. But again, uh, I think the best thing we could do is to go to God's word, to pray, God, give me wisdom as how to live my life in my community. And, um, and maybe uh, the, the next thing is to say, uh, to have this wisdom, allow God to give us this wisdom that... Uh, um, I can't solve all the world's problems, but perhaps I can help uh, uh, contribute to my family problems, my personal problems, my neighborhood, and let's just begin there. But uh, I think the first step is uh, is something that uh, King Solomon did. Uh, he, he looked at this big world and said, I don't know how to deal with this. God, I, I need your wisdom. And, uh, and God's was faithful in that, and I think he'll be faithful in answering our prayers as well. Lord, I need your sword of the Spirit. Uh, I need your word planted in my heart in order to discover truth and to walk in your truth. Well, you have a great day. I pray God's blessings that his peace would be with you. We pray for our nation and uh, uh, that God's mercy would be upon each of us. And certainly, Lord, give wisdom to our leaders to to stand in, uh, in righteousness, in your righteousness, and to judge as uh, you would have them judge. Uh, come, Lord Jesus, we need your peace. Amen. All right, take care. Bye now.